Okay, welcome uh, guys there to uh, round 10, the last round of the ASRNZ GT3 Season 2 Championship 2020. And uh, welcome with me, uh, as always, in the booth here tonight, Davo. Welcome, bud. Oh, g'day, Farmer. Yeah, and thanks thanks for having me again um, for the, uh, yeah, final round, round 10, that uh, hung, hunger ring tonight. Hung, the hung, hunger ring, yeah. The hunger ring, yes. Yeah, nice. Um, just me, Davo, is it in hunger Is that how, we, how, how it works? Oh, uh, I might have to. I just took that for granted. Oh, well, and, I, uh, would, I would as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we apologise to our uh, hungry viewers there if we've got that wrong. Um, yeah, last round, last round of the championship, mate. Exciting stuff. Um, it is exciting stuff. Um, it's been a a cracker of a, a season. A lot of ups and downs. Um, for uh, a few of the boys, um, which has really mixed the points up, actually. It's, um, there's not a, like it's the classic battles for, you know, like the probably the major positions as there has been in the past with the the way the uh, the season sort of panned out. But still, um, yeah, it's going to be a cracker of a night. And uh, just quietly, yes, it is the Hungarian... Grand Prix track. Ah, excellent. <laughs> so, ah, so yeah, Hungary good stuff. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Well, it made uh, sense, didn't it? Yeah, that, well, yeah. We, and, we, and, and, so. and we welcome all our Hungarian uh, viewers, uh, viewers to, yeah. tonight to, to, tonight. to uh, that are, <laughs> are tuning in. That's and, uh, That's we're just going to have a quick look at the uh, points table there, Dave. As the boys are starting to roll out, actually, there. Right. Yep. Uh, really only a couple of key things here that we need to keep an eye on is the, the top there between Josh and John, 19 point gap. Um, these guys are going one and two in practice, I've just noticed. So uh, Josh with a little bit of a buffer. Uh, John will be wanting to do all he can there tonight to yeah, absolutely. try yeah. and call that down, won't he? Yeah. 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 Um, Aztec, Aztec got a little bit of a gap there in third position yes. and, and probably the next two closest there is uh, BK and Ash Rediger uh, very close with only a, what is it, a dozen points or something between them as well in fourth and fifth so that's uh, probably a little battle to watch tonight as well Yeah mate um, and uh, certainly BK there probably a little bit uh, ahead of most of the guys but a good little battle there with Jacob Mule too for uh, the Pro Am, if only five points in it, so we'll keep yeah, an eye definitely. between uh, Jacob Mule, both running the Lexus. Yeah, only five um, points between those two. I don't think uh, Glenno's here again tonight. And then who we got in there in 12th? We've got Bear Grills and Anton Chesna in 13th. Uh, Kenny Simpson in 14th. Uh, Josco in 15th. Steve Crossland in 16th. B Dog, 17th, 18th, Pete Aspie, 19th, Troy Wilson, Damian Jones, I think, is away again tonight. And uh, uh, Cameron yeah, May, Cam Owen Willisey, yeah. Gunther Rowe, Owen McElroy, Davison, um, Ryan, Matt Cook, Rob, Tim Humphrey, a whole bunch of guys there that uh, down the bottom that have just sort of popped in here and there over the season just to get some points on the board but um yeah uh we've got 20 let's see more than 20 on tonight i think we've got a reasonable turnout here tonight yeah it looks like we've got 21 on track uh, tonight and we're just currently keeping an eye on the camry of jack mckellar who did exceptional last week at Bathurst in? Uh, oh, he had a in, yeah, had a cracker of a race in the yeah, number Stella, seventeen didn't car. He? So yeah. Yeah, yeah, really shone. Yeah, definitely stand out for last week. And uh, yeah, really sort of put him in probably good stead. You know, just to finish up on the season. You know, still obviously down in the points, but um, yeah, top effort from McKellar. 
So these boys just uh, must be what on the hot lap at the moment, there, yeah, Dave. Yeah, um, it looks like. Um, haven't seen any times flash up just yet. Looks like Josh is probably pretty close to the line. Yeah. Yeah, a little, little overcast here today. You can sort of see that on screen too. It's just a little bit um, dark, no shadows, the sun's off the track. The track temp is uh, probably down a little bit at 26, but the ambient is, is definitely down at uh, 23. 23 so. with cloudy, so yeah, it's probably a, it's nice a, horsepower. Uh, nice horsepower. Nice horsepower conditions, A little bit of cloud yeah. cover there on a uh, sort of a lower temperature day, perhaps. Yeah, and uh, if they get the temp temps into the tyres, I suspect, you know, like, uh, it'll be good for the, the wear as well and um, on the rubber, so... Yeah, not overly familiar with the Hangul Ring myself, but um, still one of the classics. Okay, okay, yeah, well, I still have fond memories of um, uh, a great back-to-back -back, uh, victory in the Merc here. Um, Maybe a season or two ago now, uh, Dave, but we've got to live in our glory days, don't we? We do, we do, yeah. I do. <laughs> yes. And, Although uh, I do remember, and it's been a long time. I think it was a, <laughs> um, a Lamborghini I last drove uh, on this particular track, and uh, what an animal it was back in the day. <laughs> And uh, our Lambo driver, actually, just speaking of Lambos there, no Josco there, and I am actually wearing the Go Josco Go uh, merch tonight, Dave. Again, he kind of told us he was going to make an appearance. He's de yes, I, I, I like, heard that, uh, yes, there was a catch-up through the week, and uh, <laughs> the merch was delivered the go Jelsko Joko merch so uh, yeah good work from from Mark there well done buddy and in the lone Lambo again here tonight so I don't think he is mate so I was just saying I was just looking for oh, his I name I saw him on the list there oh, oh okay 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 I could be wrong oh he may not be actually nah oh, my nah, bad nah He's go Jelsko fucking no go mate no, no, Josco, no, <laughs> tonight. That's okay. We don't care. We have the merch, and uh, we're happy <laughs> to spruik the name anyway. Um, so yeah, boys are across for their first fly lease with um, Josh. Uh, well out in front with a, a neat little 144.8. Uh, closest to that, only a couple of seconds, actually. A couple of tenths, should I say, behind is uh, Jake McCallum. Jake McCallum, mate. A P2. Yeah. He's got well, himself on the front row at the well moment, done. mate. Wow. Early, early on in quality, but, but uh, still top, top effort there straight away from Jake. So. John Boy not too far behind there either uh, with uh, uh, 45-1. And then it's a bit of a gap back to Enright with a 45-6. He's half a second back. Looks like some of these boys have still got to fire here. Aztec on a very good lap. BK on a very good lap. Uh, Ryan on a pretty good lap as well. All these guys should advance a little bit. Yeah, yeah, obviously that tyre's coming up. You can see actually Ashley, Ashley as well. Steve, yes. Steve Melling are also doing Steve reasonable eight. laps. So a lot um, of boys are going to... What have you got eyes on there at the moment? I've got eyes on uh, Aztec at the moment, actually. Dave, just as he rounds the final turn, he's got a, oh, nearly nice, got a full nice. second on his lap time. Yeah, very tight. He's going to put him probably P4 or something if he can carry the three. Very tidy lap. Yeah, he's done the, it. Uh, he's done it. Jim Murray, Bentley there. Fantastic looking car. Looking very speedy again tonight. It is. It is. Uh, Anthony Chesner showing good pace there as well. JB just coming across, popping himself into second position there with a neat uh, 144.7, and that is very close actually to Josh's time there. So. Very close. And he's taken that front uh, row off Jake. Just checking out uh, Anthony Chesner as he comes around across the line here. He's got a good bit of time goes to P9 
Well done. Uh, looks like Josh has got a little bit of an answer up the front there. Yeah, he's responded to a little bit of to time. John Boy's time there. Again, up his sleeve. Aaron Enright showed a little bit of promise too, and he's in P4, so. Ryan is right. Oh, right. So he's, he's uh, done a 47 and a half, and he's got a second and a half up on that. That will bring him down to a your clutch number's 46. Oh, that'll Ryan. That'll put him in eighth. That'll put him in the top 10. Ryan to P10, mate. I thought he was on a good lane. There you go, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so nice. Put him in the 10. Nice. Didn't see that one coming, but well, no, done, Ryan. didn't. Just keep an eye on Aaron Enright, mate, as he kind of. He's comes just got through. tangled up. Oh, he has to. Oh, Simpsons let him go, but it may just have been a few metres too late. Um, just probably got held up on the exit of the corner before uh, Simpson was able to um, move the camera aside, but. Uh, and it's uh, still up on his time. Yeah, and maybe he lost a tenth or two actually now. Uh, it didn't seem to rattle his rhythm though. It didn't Farmer. actually too it, much, you're right, yeah. He's still well on online and uh, may, may have lost a tenth or so, but. And he's dropped it up a little bit out of the final ten too, too, so. Yeah. Don't just go back to Ashley actually as we watch him. He's got point four, so this will elevate him into possible P5. As he rounds the final corner, nice line too, uh, Ash, in the Ferrari, the car. And he has spent. just gone to five. Oh, yeah, well nice done. And uh, actually, I sent Ash a little message uh, earlier in the week, just reminding him of the results that the Ferrari got here uh, last championship. And, um, yeah, and just, sure he, just, to let him, to just to let him know that we were, we were going to be watching, yes. So well done, boys. Yeah, well yeah, done. and well done, Ash. Our, we know Ash has struggled. He's he's had a bit of an up and down season this season, and it obviously shows in his points. But still, a good solid drive overall from Ash, and um, yeah, he's got himself in fifth position there in qualifying. Awesome work for race one. Awesome work. So we just got the overall positions there, uh, Josh. Just quickly, Josh and John on the front row there, followed by uh, Jake. <coughs> Well done, Jake and Aaron on row two. Uh, Ashley and Aztec on row three. Stevo and Gunter on row four. And then BK and Anthony Chesner rounding out the ten. Yeah, and uh, from there on, what have we got? Uh, Ryan in 11th and uh, Bear Grylls on that, uh, making it the sixth row. Pete Aspie, Cameron May, B-Dog and Mule. Kenny Simpson, Troy Wilson, Nick Davison, and Jason Shepard. Jason, and one of the newcomers, and Owen Willisie in 21, uh, rounding out the field. Yeah, cool. And just looking at the uh, sectors there, noticing Josh has got sectors one and three. Yeah. Uh, John was sector two. So, uh, yeah. Josh, big chunk in sector one, actually. Uh, similar in sector three between the two boys. So, uh, one to watch there. And we've got yeah, to keep an eye on, obviously, Jake McCullough well up the field there ahead of again, uh, Mule. Again this week. Mule yeah, back yeah. at 16, so. Definitely. As the uh, cars get um, land on the grid there for race one uh, tonight here, this is uh, final round here, round 10 at Hungal Ring for the... Um, ASRNZ GT3 Season 2 and I just if if you can just give me a sec Farmer and... Yeah absolutely mate and um, I guess no surprise to see 1 and 2 in the championship 1 and 2 on the grid there uh, side by side <laughs> they probably size each other up um just wait here for the clock to tick down. Just stand by, call up. Uh, 
we don't have whole music um, here at ASR and Z. Yes, and well, let's just take this moment quickly, actually, again, to uh, just um, thank our sponsors for the, the season, um, all season being the final round. So, um, yes, let's thank Hypercube, Web Design and Online, mar- online Marketing, GoBro Racing, New Look Painting, Outdoor Effects, Superior Joint Sealing, Spark Clean in Taupo and Zero Vision Motorsport. Thanks, guys, uh, for your support throughout the season. Thank you. As the, uh, the engines come on... The headlights are on. Headlights are on. We've got a 7 o'clock start here, Davo. So it might get a little bit dark as the race goes on. And it may do, yes. Yeah, race stuff. one, sprint race tonight. As the guys just peel off, you see Vatican leaving a big set of uh, big burnout there as he takes off. Big hunk of car. rubber there for oh, us. Oh, uh, definitely. It's just, it's just, stop. Just, just laying down that start line track, you know, so he can uh, get that filthy start that he's looking for. But, uh, yeah, as the cars all move down to turn one, we will do a full warm-up lap before we will we start. Do we, we want to have a quick word with anybody there, Davo? We, that'd be awesome. Should we want just to talk grab to? someone... Uh, with a we'll, lot of, a we'll lot of years a lot of years experience here we roll the dice and it's landed on spin the wheel Mr. Bear spin Grills the there we've and spun the wheel and got your uh, name buddy down into the comms uh, box uh, <laughs> just as you're on your warm up lap um, how, are we, how are we feeling tonight buddy? oh we don't have yeah. we don't have comms a little bit nervous mate here he is nervous. here he is we got him a little bit nervous mate okay um, we're wishing you all the best Bit of an up and down season. You're not wrong. I just hope you get round turn one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's the plan. Turn one, uh, and yeah. then and then the rest the rest after that. Yeah. Every, everything yeah. else from there is upwards. That's okay. Great. That's okay. That's a good theory. Awesome, mate. We've been watching all season, the ups and downs, but uh, yeah, we're, we're rooting for you again tonight, mate. So. Yeah, the last three have been good. Yeah, 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 great definitely stuff. Got, definitely got the batteries charged in the camera tonight, mate. So. Yeah, you got the batteries. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> nice work. Nice work. Uh, all right, mate. Oh, best of luck, buddy. Um, Cheers, boys. And Thank let's. Uh, you, mate. Yeah, yeah. Love your work, mate. All the best. <laughs> Thanks, all right. Brad. Okay, Take good care, luck. Okay. Good luck. Good luck, Bullis. See you, mate. Okay. Didn't really give us too much to go on there, did he? They were keeping the secrets tight there, I think. Uh, he Pierre. was keeping his cards close. Wasn't he? Yeah. Close, he yeah. Was. Yeah. As, I as, wanted as to give away too with, much. With uh, such a, a quality performer as his Bear grill, so. They're a little bit different, actually, there at, on the west coast of the North Island, Davo. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's so it might be a, a factor there, I suppose. But... Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, so it's a bit, bit like the uh, Queensland, New South Wales things, or maybe Australia and Tasmania thing. I, I think more of a Tasmania thing, yeah. The... <laughs> As the boys line up into the... grid formation here. Okay, they're coming oh. down the second to last corner. A very we'll tight grid here. The boys are very boys close. The so just get come around here, they're around the final turn. They gridded up nicely, but very awkward grid, very awkward last couple of corners to get uh, themselves set for. It's looking good though, here we go. Re- the final round, season two, GT3s at ASRNZ, and they're off. Oh, they are doing a good start Order. from Josh there. Look at that. John really line. under attack from the government, isn't it? Yeah. Big fan of cars behind John McDonald. We had Enron McKellar. Oh, and we see someone in the wall there. At the back, unfortunately. And a little bit of a touch up at the back there. It's a bit hard to watch our data to see who's dropping through the field. It goes a little bit crazy at the start of the race here. So we just, all we've got is the visuals. 
McKellar all over the back of Enride as they just settle in at the top end. Yeah, great little bunch there. Aztec right behind McKellar and uh, Ash Vedegar with Gunther um, just right behind there as well. And then a little bit of a gap back to Melling in the, um, the freshly and painted. The, the check has come back, has it, Davo? I see uh, the sponsors are on the side of the Castrol car there tonight. And that's great news as, for Steve, eh? As we, as we expected, <laughs> the Castrol delivery has come back through some solid performance from Melling over the last couple of weeks. Well done, Stephen. Well done, as Steve, eh? Um, and just had a quick word B. there, um, noticing that B-Dog and Kenny both starting from the pits tonight. Not sure what happened there, David. Okay. Uh, uh, a couple of those some boys in the back. From, yes. from the previous week with some infringements. Either Quite that possibly. or they uh, simply missed the, missed the As call, mate. The start, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. It does happen. Yeah. Uh, as the boys round off the first lap in the final round, race one in the final round here tonight at Hunger in Chester down looking for Chester a step on a BK good look on BK isn't he and Cameron May there as well on the inside of Pete in the background absolutely. there absolutely and it looks like May's actually got in the stick with yes. uh, Peter there uh, yes he has done he's covered he into the next that. turn yeah yeah Google's well done right behind um Peter there actually looks like he might want a part of that as well, but uh, let's just see if Aspie responds to, to May's pass there. As May doesn't have really too far to go with Tresno right, behind, right in front of him there, and May looks like he's got some pace in the uh, Aston there. Yeah, he does, actually. Just quietly. So, yeah, the mid pack settled in nicely into the usual hectic battle that uh, we quite often see here. I just had a little contact there. I don't know where that's coming from. But a few boys have dropped back, um, mules dropped back out of that, um, that top ten. Yeah, mule back behind Troy there. Um, actually, he qualified uh, reasonably down the field, actually, did the mule. So, oh, okay, yep. Um, just keep an eye on this gap in the front, actually, Dave. Oh, John there oh, put yes, a little just, bit of pressure on Josh. So, um, so Josh did have that run right at the beginning, as he, we quite often see with Josh, uh, particularly in the Nissan this season. He, he takes off really well, but John has definitely responded in, in that first look, look at this, John. Look at that, John. He's up the inside. Yeah, and oh. clearly got the mid corner. Uh, handling corner. grip there on the dads in front of him, hasn't he? He's got the turn in, definitely dialed in on the on the Aston, and um, I, it literally looked like the the Aston was up beside the Nissan as they initially turned into that corner. So it's um it's looking dominant. Aaron Enright not too far behind with McKellar and Aztec trailing. Very close little battle as they come through this awkward oh, chicane. It's the sparks awkward. are just flying in the back of they Josh's car flying. over John's screen there. <laughs> Great see, stuff. Yes, the sun has, has dipped behind the hills there. It's got quite dark and yes, the sparks and you can see the glowing exhaust on these cars. Spectacular. Quickly look back here, it's Cameron May. I've just seen someone on the grass there. There's a little bit of something's gone wrong in the back there, as I think Pete's car's gone round. And I wonder if we can just go, we're going to have to go back a little way as you see what's happened. And yeah, Pete is, is still off the road actually. He's just watching the replay there, Dave. I've got Bear behind him. Uh, yeah, Bear was just tucked in behind Peter actually. Just watches these boys. Oh, and Anthony Chesnut, I think, has got it maybe a little bit wrong there, and it's just uh, it's a little bit of an unfortunate uh, touch up there with those guys at the back. 
Yeah, very unfortunate. Very yeah. back to the action at the front there. John by still putting plenty of pressure on the back of Josh. Aaron, yes. in, Aaron Inright's going with these guys too. Yeah, yeah. Well, Aaron's definitely coming with there. He can, um, he wants to stay in touch with that little battle. If he just keeps himself in that little gap that he's in there, um, between McKellow and McDonald, he's, he's in good stead, you know, like he, he can just focus on the back of the leaders' car says McDonald weaves again all over the back of Vettiger. Um, if he can stay in touch with that and, and not get too involved in it, he's um, definitely in a good position to be in. Um, McKellar in the Camry really has shown the last couple of weeks and is has. picking up where he left off and pretty it was, well uh, last yeah. week. And, and he was saying uh, it was all in a bit of force back uh, feedback out of his wheel that he uh, yeah, yeah, wasn't wasn't like, getting. It's amazing yeah. what they can do to a driver. It is, it is, it is, with sparks flying from the back of the Camry again. Yeah, just a little bit of hardware adjustment can do wonders with uh, this type of thing. Uh, Aztec just behind Jake, as we talk about uh, Jake there, and Ashley Vettiger and Gunther Rowe, just, you can see them just in the background as they come through. Steve Melling and BK not too far behind either. And then a fair bit of a gap back to uh, May and Grills, yeah, yeah, who, yeah. Who, yeah, who had sort of got past um, after an unfortunate little tangle with uh, Aspie there, Tesna and whatnot. So um, good, solid performance from all. And relatively clean so far. A little bit of a... A few little niggly little mixes here and there, but uh, fairly good as we notice that the uh, old grills. Just watching Beer have a good look on camera, May, there, May. Yeah. Very, very, very big look at May there. It's actually put him off a little bit and probably dropped him back a bit, but uh, yeah, pit window open notification has come through. Be interesting to see whether anybody does what take these? advantage of those early pit stops that we've seen all season. Actually, Farmer, at least one or two guys, you know, trying to mix it up. Bear's clearly pushing if you're still on Bear. Very sideways through that quick chicane. Funny little flip flop there into that that fast right hander. So he's um, definitely wants a part of May. I think he thinks he's got the measure on that I think he that feels action. he's got something, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. yeah. Okay. I might just keep an eye up the front there, see if he really is too duck into the pit the stops. Uh, Denison looks fantastic. I love the way how they've got the vents up forward of the, um, the exhaust outlets. You can see the glowing side pipes as we see Josh. Josh has gone the in. Yeah. Uh, we were just talking about this, Josh being one of these guys that are tr uh, trying the massive undercuts uh, throughout the season. And um, look, this doesn't always pay off, as we see also Aztec ducked in right Aztec behind. There is another okay. number behind Aztec, I can't Ashley, quite see. Ashley, I think, has gone as well, oh, buddy. It is, yeah. It is it's the old bloke, Ashley Bettiger in the Ferrari. Now, this might do Ashley well. Um, coming in nice and early like this, just give him a bit of clean air. I think Aztec was probably struggling for a little bit of clean air as well, so probably not too bad for both of them. And once Kenny again, Simpson Dave, also Mo, uh, sorry, Beer making Beagle. the move. Beer's Beagle. made the move, mate. We've just seen it. Oh, okay. The old switcheroony there. Between yeah. these two oh, boys, oh, and it carries very on. Close. And May's got the, got that position back actually off beer. It's nice work as the sparks <laughs> fly from both, and I think Mule is uh, just sizing that whole situation up back there <laughs> as he ranges up in one of the other Camrys behind um, <laughs> behind Ben Grills. Yes. He's probably just rubbing his little hands together, thinking, okay, <laughs> who's going to come off first? Either way, it's a position for him, so I'm sure he's going to want to stay in touch with that little little battle going on right in front of him. I did just quickly see that. Um, just going to see if John, John pits the slap or not. 
Yeah, no, John's carrying on, mate. John's carrying on. John's so carried on. John's got the hammer down. This is his chance. Aaron. He needs to really smash up numbers, doesn't he? Okay. Yes, he does. As Aaron in second position on the road currently has come in. And John's this last lap him. was a 44.7, so a really good lap from John last okay. lap round. Uh, two tenths off his best lap, so very nice. Clearly puts, focused. Puts Jack McCullough in second position. We have N Wright and we have BK in. We actually have a couple other guys back down. A few boys that don't we at the moment in the pits. Bear Grills coming in. Mules in. Mule in. Before Bear Grills. How did that happen? We've got Ed Wilson in. Saw sure. Mule was behind Bear Grills and Cameron May. So some interesting stuff's just gone on there before the pit stops. And then right still on the jacks. BK still on the jack. Just You're keeping an eye on Aaron's car and it looks very pretty sitting there in the lights. Uh, it does, it does. We've got this. We just uh, hear it fire up there. It's ready to drop off the jacks. Nice yeah. tidy pit stop. He's right at the end of the pit lane too. We see Aztec there swoop by. Um, not sure about Aztec stopped or not. We can check here on the Aztec, cars. No, no yeah, Aztec, Aztec still to stop. So Aztec did stop, and so did. Aztec oh, did he? Redican. Oh, sorry, Redican. he's got the green box, so he has stopped. Yeah, and Redican's yeah. in behind Enright, as which because Enright was in third. So I think Aztec's so, gained position there. Or... So as clean as Enright's uh, pit stop looked. It, it was probably a little slow, so he's either had a, an untidy in-lap or his, his pit crew's just uh, probably not topped up with the Red Bull tonight, so... That's right, I'm just watching John Boy and Jake coming into the pits there, Dave uh, oh, Okay, so this is the one we need to watch, is the... Steve-O in the background there. The McDonald, Aston and um, Jake McKellar's the... Camry. We want to watch where these two boys come out. I'll just keep um, an eye on where Josh is on track, mate. Uh, so, oh, if you who you got on? Well, Josh, or, I should probably watch Josh actually watch as he Josh, comes I'll around. Watch John Boy, Helling just tucked in there. Mays in, Chesner's in. McDonald's still on the jacks. Josh's last lap round. Um, oh, so it was an outlap from his pit stop. Still according to our stats. McDonald still on the jacks. And Josh coming down the McDonald final straight out. now. Josh coming down the straight. McDonald right at the end of the pit. He's out. He's on track. And they're side by side here, Dave. Josh has rounded him up. Oh, he's rounded him up. He has. Aztec close in behind, so it's pretty well business. Actually, it's not business as usual because Mc, uh, Eric Enright. Enright has dropped which back. We suspected yes. he had a poor, a poor pit stop, which has put our Aztec just up a notch. And who's behind Aztec now? So I'm just waiting for my data to. Um, is it Ashley that's there? It's Enright. It's actually Enright. Yeah, Enright and then Ashley. Yeah. 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 So actually, Ashley's um, gained a position there too, hasn't he? From McKellar. Is that right? What's happened to Jake? Yeah, Jake Where's was in, Jake? Jake was in P three or four, but sorry, P four maybe behind Aztec, I think. Mm. Yeah, Jake's had, Jake's had so, a Jake's had a shutter okay. in the pits. So he's probably suffered more than anyone there in that top. Um, well, basically, it's the top five or six there. He, he, so he's definitely slipped back. He's got a quite a big gap. I'm just waiting for my data to. Reset because we're still waiting for still a gun. Waiting for a uh, couple Nick of Davis boys, that's right. A couple of the stragglers just to pop back in, which will, uh, looks like it'll put Jake back in sixth position. So, yeah, yeah, out of that top six, Jake's probably suffered the most. Um, that, although that Camry has been very speedy the last few weeks, he's ranging up on the back of Ashley's Ferrari. The Ferrari has been. Well, to be honest, a little lackluster over the season, so probably not a bad space <laughs> to watch. I, I, I suspect that that McKellar will will get um, get past that uh, that Ferrari reasonably quickly. 
I think he'll dispatch that uh, that position quite easily. Yeah. Yes. And, and I don't uh, know where where does that the the, um, the Lexus make its its gains. It just looks like just such a just a bland looking car. It doesn't look like it's doing anything particularly well, but the times say it is. You know, it doesn't doesn't look fast in or fast out yes. or spectacular yes. anywhere, but it just it just makes it happen. I you know? think it's one of those things where the Camry sales have just been consistent over the years mate and it's never been there or there but just always been up on the numbers yeah um, it's just one of those cars that everyone just seems to like as we see the sparks fly from these cars it's just the nice, nice flames there coming and, out of the and, lexus and, actually and seriously like if you're driving one of these cars on the street and it's got flames and sparks coming out of <laughs> you probably want to get it down to the mechanic <laughs> but here tonight on track, that's the normal thing to see, so. Uh, and yeah, yes. Just looking to see Gunter, last one, finally into the pits there. Gives John yeah, and Josh back to that little battle back, for the uh, lead. It's just picked up exactly where they left off. Do you, look, has John got this? Look, we, we've talked about this in weeks past. You know, how far does he have to extend himself to get that Aston in front of that Nissan? You know, like, he gets so close, but you know that, you know how, just to get that extra half a car leg, how difficult that is. Oh, it is, it is. It's, it is a uh, major commitment, and um, you've, uh, without forcing, you know, the issue, over-forcing the issue, okay. you're really looking for that, that slightest mistake from... Uh, the lead car and uh, Josh just doesn't seem to make those too often. Yeah, quite sort of tricky actually to pass um, the Datsun, I guess, because even, um, you know, like we've seen with John, almost get a better run out of turn one there. Yeah. Uh, maybe a couple of times, but the Datsun's so strong under acceleration that you just can't do anything about it. Um, and a really hard car to pass. Yeah, sure. And obviously, when you're ducking your nose up a little bit, you're always compromising your run a little bit on the exit. And uh, that, you know, get, get coupled with the, the power of the Nissan, you just don't have a chance, really, do you? Yeah, exactly. So I we don't see think him. he's going to get it done with the run out of any corner, I think, was where I was going with that. He's going to yeah, have to do sure. something... Uh, He's going to have to try and get maybe somewhere mid-corner if there is a chance there. Um, As they flip-flop into this final corner here, we watch McDonald. We've seen him lap up the lap, actually. Have a big look into one here. He's a bit far back, this lap. Yes, perhaps a little bit uh, further back than he wants to be. Shepard, back marker. There. Hope Shepard can see the boys come on. He'll have the blue flags flying, sparks flying from the back. Shepard's off. He's off. He's decided I'm out of this. I'm not sure where to go. Want, I'm just going to get out of that. here. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good decision at the end, really. Let's um, hope he can spot uh, Aztec behind him. He's let Aztec through. There's a couple of others. The boys are coming up so quick. She Shepard's pretty well just pulled off the track. Just said, no, no, you, oh, you can all go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice was. work, Jason. Yeah, nice work. And it's good because it really didn't phase the two boys at the top there as they just actually carry on. And um, quite easily, you can, you can just, uh, just upset your rhythm just having a back marker, even if you get a good clean pass on a back marker, just that, that upset that rhythm and, um, you know, can give an advantage to. As McDonald out again has a big look at Vetica. Oh, he does too, mate. He just, once he pulls out of the slip, he's got nothing. <laughs> I wonder if we might just do a lapping board with uh, John Boy there. Let's do that. As he just comes around final turn to start a new lap. Let's see what the acid's got towards this uh, 
still again a, a little bit percent in front of him. Oh, yeah. He's, he's back a little bit further than what he has been. Look at the grunt of the Nissan. It's grunt all the way Nissan. the yeah. whole straight there. Yes. The brakes on the uh, Aston are uh, formidable. They, they work. Yeah, John Boy been working on his brakes uh, throughout the season. Yeah, lovely to little left hander downhill here. The right hand flick into this corner. This is a very rewarding piece of, of this track, actually. So run down to this very awkward right left flip flop into the right hand uphill. Very tricky bit of track that quite fast. McDonald just shows the nose again. Who's getting the run? Nice wide runs into this very awkward stop start. Right left chicane. Awful chicane. Awful chicane. Left. Awful chicane. Left. Big long right. These are pretty well 90 degree corners. Yeah. Another left. These, these two flow. These two flow nice. Big run down to the end here and a big heavy break to a right-hander. Donald, definitely strong under brakes. Flip up into the left here. Funny little chase into this left and then onto the start, finish straight here with a near hairpin corner, very similar to uh, uh, Nurberg there. Yeah, great, and there's a lap with Bell. Uh, there's, a, there's a lap with John McDonald. A Jim McDonald. Very busy in there. Not sure where he's going to get it done, Davo, after watching that lap as he has another little look mm. into one. He's definitely close Very to strong oh, right here. Look at how close they are. He's actually got that thing up the side. He's forcing the line. Not quite enough. Woo! If he could, if he could just force that that skyline to stay a little bit offline, he might have a shot at it. But yes. he can't get the, the the nose up beside it. So uh, very tricky as we stay with this. I think um, into this right hander again, right up on the ripple strip. I think that probably lost him a little bit there as he stayed off the throttle. Awful stop. Chicane there. Window is now Pit window closing. As we watch these boys come towards the end of this. Again, another cracker lap. Yeah, another good lap. And Josh not putting a foot wrong, is he? Not a mistake at all. No. And um, even very, and you can see that the uh, the that's in in front of Joshua's. Joshua are well aware of where John is beside him and around him and, and leaving space, you know, where required. But um, John, the, the Aston just doesn't have it. It just hasn't got that last little degree of uh, whatever it needs. So... And John Boy back. not close enough again, is he, into one here? No. Where we know no. he's strong, so this will just continue on. We might just keep an eye on uh, maybe BK and there's a Gunter there. A little bit closer to battle. The rest of the field not too tight. We've got Ashley and Jake, actually, as you mentioned. Just up yeah. ahead of those guys. Uh, Jake got a screaming lap actually there. He's, he was well up on his time, so he's ranged really quickly up on the back of Vediger. Uh, obviously in this lap already. So, um, I, uh, look, I, like I said earlier, I thought McKellar might have been able to deal with the Ferrari, um, but uh, Ash, a seasoned driver, and uh, look, if anyone can make a car wide, it'd be Ashley. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, doing a great job to just keep that Ferrari right there in fifth position and, and, and a good position to be in. 
after you know like a bit of an up and down season a very really up and down from, season from Vanita, yeah. So, yeah yeah it'd be good to have a couple of solid finishes it would be uh, it would be it'd be good to see that ferrari up at the horny and at, um, these two guys lap times there so jake overall uh best lap is a good three tenths quicker than ashley's but yeah last lap round there jake a couple of tenths down on ashley's pace so yeah, uh, and, you, and, and if you if you can, you can relate that back to the top two drivers right now, because they're yes. basically doing exactly the same. Thing, That's right. Where, yeah. where John McDonald is quicker than than Joshua in front, but just can't make it happen, you know. So John very close to one that time as well, um, but still, like you say, yeah. 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 Um, you, just, what, what do you say? You what just, do you uh, say? You just you know, carry on watching. You carry on and gather the points <laughs> and uh, try again next race, really. Oh, Melling doing well in seventh, sitting out on his own. I think we're coming down to the final lap, nearly, aren't we? Uh, uh, what have we got? Three B, minutes to go. Yeah, getting B, close, mate. BK in eighth with uh, Gunther. Really, really tucked up nicely and bowling in there in ninth. Uh, Mule in tenth. Uh, he's actually sitting out there all on his lonesome as well. The 88 Camry of Bear Grylls in 11th. Uh, with the, and he's actually got Chesna he chasing is. him down yeah. with the, um, and keeping him company in the, um, the McLaren there. Troy Wilson in 13th in the uh, purple Bentley. Cameron May in 14th. Kenny Simpson in 15th. Lost Cameron. Oh, hey, Cameron's doing okay. Yeah, Cameron's he's gone like down backwards a bit, here. He? He's got down. Yeah. It's just going to be he's lost a few spots here. Yes. Uh, Kenny Simpson in 15th. Nick Davison in 16th. Pete Aspie's had a tough night as well. Back in the 17th. <laughs> Will it? We'll we, see we just <laughs> so who funny. was that? We just Someone, caught Kenny doing it. It was Kenny, was it? Big sideways, drifting into the yeah off the side okay. of the track there. As yeah. I was rolling through the names there, I just saw it in my <laughs> in, a little bit off screen, and I actually tried to flick back for it, but I couldn't work out who it was. So yeah. there you go. Hope we caught that on the stream. We jinxed him oh. as we mentioned his name. But, awesome yeah. stuff. And uh, yeah, so what do we got, Ryan and? Uh, Jason Shepard uh, running out the top 20 there, so yeah. Uh, top work. Oh, actually, we've got B Dog as well. Yeah, B Dog, yeah. And a couple oh, of those boys started from pits as well, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Who um, was it, B Dog and Kenny or something? Yeah, Both something like that, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, let's. Still got a couple of little close battles here. Obviously, Josh and John at the front there. We've got Ashley and Jake having a good little battle. And Beer is also having a bit of a battle. Which is now there, is it? But we've got a minute 30 to go. Just keeping on these front runners, I suppose. Uh, uh, I Dave think o. so. I think so. I think um, as much as we'd um, like to see a position change just for the sake of a position change, <laughs> not that we barrack for one or the other, but yes. um, it's uh, we don't think it's going to happen. But what a close race um i suppose we could always just look at the back of joshua's car after looking out of the front of uh we certainly have John's. this ability but we, we do have the technology let's have a do that and so they're on the final lap we'll go for the back look for the final lap out of vetiga's car watch john right up on him from the corner there and it's into one into one traditionally he's been doing it for Pretty well, whole race, so, so. Again, very yeah. tight. It's got the Aston pointing really well. It's stopping well. Sparks just, flying uh, at the back of Josh's car there through the kick. Just, just, just spraying the front of the Aston, wasn't it, with Sparks? Oh, and John with another look there. It's a climb up the hill. Not much sure. left of the I track mean, now. It almost like he's trying to force that error from uh, Joshua and uh, 
by just sheer pressure and uh, it's just unfazed, cool as a cucumber, Josh, as usual. Nice, good, good, clean racing to watch these guys. They've raced like this the whole race, uh, Farmer. Awesome. Yes, these boys have beaten exactly like this the whole race, haven't they? The pit stops didn't mix them up. Uh, John Boy went a couple of extra laps longer, but yeah, it stayed dude. the same. John, it has. good it has. luck into oh, the so second to last yet. corner there to go. The concentration is... And we just been... watched them come around the final turn, mate. Look at how close these two are. Unbelievable. Congratulations, well done. Josh Vanegar and John McDonald for an awesome effort. Aztec coming around there to finish in third. We've got Aaron in right behind him. Uh, Ashley and Jake in a good battle there for five and six. Uh, Steve-O for strong seventh place there. Go Castro Edge. Go the Castro Edge. BK with Gunter the Pussycat Road. car. Gunter. What have we got? Mule on his own, mate, coming around, around the final, final turn. For well done for the position. 10. Nice work from uh, Mule. He's uh, had a strong second half of the season, actually, for Mule. He's uh, definitely uh, improved a lot throughout Has. the series. And a good finish from Bear as well for 11, with uh, Anton there chasing him down behind. Troy in Kept the background. Yes, Anton definitely keeping Bear Grylls honest in those final few laps, that's he was, for sure. Yeah. Troy not too far behind. Cameron, a bit of an unfortunate race, probably for Cameron. He sort of, he, he definitely dropped down the order a little. And uh, and uh, I think Kenny, well, uh, you mentioned earlier, a couple of guys starting from the pitch. I think Kenny was one of them. As we saw him, had a bit of a slip up there too, actually, just uh, a little bit before the end of the race. But uh, yeah, yeah, well done to Kenny as usual. Davison's in 16th. Pete Aspie has had a curly sort of a race in his orange Bentley tonight. 18th is Owen Willisy. Ryan coming down towards the final few corners of the track. No, Ryan's over. Ryan's Jason over. Shepherd. That's us. Well That's done. It. That's it. That's it. <coughs> well race done. Went what down. a cracker race. All right, mate. Uh, third place went to Aztec. We'll just grab that man in here. Grab that man. Okay, welcome. Uh, third place winner. Yeah, hey, buddy. Good race, mate. Another lonely one, but you jumped, yeah. you jumped Aaron in the pits. So. Yeah, and, and uh, Jake. And ja yeah, yeah, Jake, yeah, Jake went back in a lot of spots, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, shocker, but yeah. yeah nice, nice race, man. Good clean stuff, as usual. Yeah, that was more tiring than the Enduro after that, I think. So many corners. Oh, I don't know whether this is okay. one of my favourite tracks either, Aztec. Uh, <laughs> yeah, how about you come and drive it next time? Cause uh, it's a bit I think the last time I drove a Lamborghini here, I don't know whether you remember it. It was flying through the air. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that was, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, no, oh, well done, stuff. buddy. Yeah, well done. you still got one to go. So um, Yeah, couldn't keep yes. up with John and, and, and uh, Josh, though. Yeah, great little battle at the front. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well done in the pits. Yeah. And thank you. Uh, good luck for next race. All right, mate. Thanks, um, help yourself to the fruit burst there in the Skittles on your way out, mate. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Don't be shy. Um, actually, if you need uh, a beanie, just on the back corner there, there's that Go Jaws Go Go beanie, mate. You what can have it? that. Don't he didn't, want it anymore. He didn't, no, he didn't turn up, mate. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Help yourself. Uh, one, one, All right. One, won't fit over farmer's head. Thanks, so, mate. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Cheers, mate. See ya. Yeah, good stuff. Look, I'm going to start giving away a bit of this merch we got. Uh, okay, so uh, who we got who next? Who we got oh, next, John, mate? John Boy. John McDonald, of course. Okay, welcome. Be... Welcome, John Boy. Uh, well done and um, commiserations there as well, oh, I guess, I, in the no same speech. Commiserations. <laughs> My God, how epic was that race? Oh, it's so oh, it was close, good to so watch. Oh, inseparable, man. mate. Yeah, the car was just mega. Um, I think it was actually stronger than Josh's car, just uh, looking for a little bit extra at the pit stop there, but um, locked at the horns and totally. sweat, sweating like anything. And yep. uh, so good, man. And that, yeah. yeah, it's so cool to race that close. 
but out in the dark and being that close under the wing and it's so hard. It it's is epic. Re- it's it, it, so hard. <laughs> it looked epic from the comms box, mate. And uh, like you said, the whole race, it's, it's like, like, um, you know, the first corner was the same on the uh, last lap as it was in the first lap. You guys were so close the whole way. And look, it did look like the Aston, the numbers showed the Aston was strong the whole race, but uh, you just couldn't get the nose far enough up beside the Datsun, eh? Nah, I was trying. Um, oh, we can tell. We can tell you <laughs> yeah. Were yeah, we gave um, it, you were trying, yeah. 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 But, nah, credit to Josh. That was a, a great race under yeah. pressure, and I know... Um, yeah, he enjoyed every bit of that too. We were just talking before, so that was great. Yeah, yeah, great battle. We enjoyed nice, it too, nice mate. Work, mate. Our, nice work, mate. Nice work. Well done. And uh, I guess um, up your game for the next one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and feel free to help yourself to the fruit burst and the skittles there, mate, on your way out. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit of a chocolate man, so yeah, okay. You, you yeah. Keep keep those. You okay. See yeah. Yeah. Well, Davo's eating all the fucking strawberry ones already. So <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, mate. Guts. Good uh, luck. Yeah. Good luck <laughs> and all the best for the next race, mate. Can you just put Definitely. on pole for us and uh, <laughs> let's see if Josh can chase you for the next one, eh? Uh, I'll do my best. All right, I'll mate. Tell you what, Jake's the dark horse here. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay, mate. Right. Cheers. Thanks, boys. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, wow. And okay, one more we have. Josh down here. Josh, Josh welcome, buddy. Welcome. Good race there. Good bit of pressure. Well done. You survived. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, just. Yeah. Was, oh, you didn't put a foot wrong, mate. 30 minutes. Hey. Yeah, JB drove really well. Um, yeah, I, I, fortunately, I didn't make any big mistakes. Ran wide a little bit at some times. But, um, yeah, he drove really well. His car was really strong over the over some of the bumps and around through sector two. Um, but fortunately, it's a hard place to pass. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure he would have gotten me. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, because he, he was definitely trying. <laughs> yeah, he was definitely <laughs> trying. Yeah, his car looked a lot stronger, sort of through mid corner there on a couple of sections of the track. But um, the acceleration of the Nissan, um, it just really wasn't too much he could do. Um, great mm. to watch, though. It was a great battle. Yeah, yeah. And you didn't make an error, so. Um, you know, there was no sort of op- opportunity for him there to take. So, yeah, well, yeah, like yeah. it was a good GT3 race with different strengths for different cars. Fortunately, yeah. the, the Nissan just had it in the right spot to make defending yeah. a bit easier. Oh, well done, mate. Well, um, we've got a bit of merch here to give away. So, we've got a Go Josco Go uh, purple, <laughs> purple Lamborghini shirt here for you. Um, well done to that. There's some fruit bursts and Skittles there from old Skittles boy that yep, hasn't come yep. back tonight. Help yourself, uh, Help yourself to those. Thank you. C- congratulations. And no doubt we'll see you back uh, in the comms box at the next race, bud. Yeah, that'd be nice. Thanks, All the guys. best, mate. Okay. Cheers. Good okay. Good okay. Cheers, buddy. See you, Josh. Yeah, great stuff, Davo. And um, good to get that merch out there. Maybe see some of the boys wearing that next season. Yeah, well, uh, just back the van up. There's heaps of it there. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where he got that shit from, and I'm not asking. So. No, yeah, yeah I, I didn't ask any questions myself. Yeah. So. But, yeah, no, all good. Um, obviously, the boys love coming yeah. up and uh, having a chat with us in the comments box after the race, especially now there's Skittles and stuff, first and merch on, on the offer. Anyway, that was race one. This is the final round for this season, so stick around and uh, join us for race two. We will be back, uh, Farmer. We will be back, mate. Give us five, ten minutes and we'll be back. Thank you for watching. Thank you.